for all of us here in this room, this really isn't anything special, right? Just a jug of water. But what if I told you that where I come from, in my beautiful corner of the world, this is the difference between life and death. And it rings true for millions of other people across the globe. As it stands right now, over two billion people don't have access to clean and safe drinking water. Over 6,000 children die every day because of waterborne diseases which means that by the time I'm done with my three minutes, four children will have lost their lives. All because this is sitting here and not somewhere else in the world. But it isn't all doom and gloom. This is where my work comes in and tries to bridge the gap. I am in the field of nanotechnology, which means that I work with materials that have dimensions and tolerances of less than 100 nanometers or 10 to the minus nine meters. So just to put that into perspective for everybody, the stuff I work with is so tiny, it's about the size of the hairs that grow on a mosquito's legs, right? <laughs> Nanomaterials on their own are pretty impressive, but when you take them and fuse them onto the surface of something like clay, they become pretty spectacular, right? Now, because we've given them now the power to remove heavy metals from water, and they do this by acting like picky little magnets. They, once you put them into the water, they attract and drive all these nasty metals onto themselves. Because we know that if you ingest a metal as a human being, they can actually rot and rust you from the inside out. And once our nano clay has removed all of, the, all of these, nano, all of these, once our nano clay has removed all of these pollutants from their water, we then filter it out and have clean, safe drinking water that we can distribute to communities all over the world that need it the most. Us as human beings over millennia have come up with the most brilliant, beautiful ideas. From going into outer space and traveling the universes, from curing diseases that years ago would have been fatal. And some of this innovation has allowed us to travel over 13,000 kilometers to stand in this one stage and share our passions. But all of these big ideas come with very real big problems. And one of those problems is water pollution. So in order to save ourselves and save the planet, we need to start thinking differently about these big problems. We need to start thinking smaller. We need to start thinking nano. Thank you.